$1.77 trillion. That's how much Americans collectively owe when it comes to student loan debt. Yeah, it's a daunting number and one that's surely going to increase with payments being due again soon after being paused during the thick of the pandemic. There is a new help out there for millions of borrowers. And tonight, ABC Action News reporter Lydia Vasquez digs into the SAVE program and speaks with a Bay Area woman who tells us it'll help her finally pay off the loans she's been dealing with for more than two decades. I graduated from law school in 1999, and I've been paying those loans back since then. Angelica Colwell tells me her law school loans were originally around $70,000. She's already paid about $60,000, but still owes just as much. Because of the way the interest goes, I haven't gotten anywhere. It's the one debt that I could never, I've never been able to catch up on. But that could soon change for Colwell. She's one of the millions of student loan borrowers that could benefit from the Biden administration's new program called SAVE or saving on a valuable education. Someone going on SAVE will never have an increasing interest balance um, due to having a low payment. And that's critical because we've had folks that have had uh, enormous increases in their balances to where they might have started with 30,000. They're easily 100 or higher now. I wanted to learn more about how the loan payback program works, so I spoke with Chrissy Arkovich, who specializes in student loan work. She says the SAVE program is not forgiving debt completely, but it's income based and it will keep interest from accumulating. Anyone who's making 30,000 and single under SAVE would arguably have a zero payment. And so there'll be a lot of folks with a zero to maybe a hundred dollar payment. The vast majority of people that used to be on repay before COVID hit, basically they're going to automatically transfer to save and save will probably be about a third of what their former payment used to be. And that's significant right now. Because of this, Colwell says she'll finally be able to put a dent into her student loans. I think that my savings is going to be around $61,000. Meanwhile, Arkovich says the SAVE program's qualifications are unlike anything we've had previously. If you are married and you file a joint tax return, you can file a separate return come January and have your payment based solely on your income. And that's significant. People with direct subsidized, unsubsidized and consolidated loans could qualify for SAVE. As for Colwell, she says she's waited more than 20 years for something like this. At, at the end of the day, I feel like I'm getting out of it what I was hoping to, to get, which is just fair repayment of money that I borrowed. In Tampa, Lydia Vasquez, ABC Action News.